Today, I'll tell you about some big promises coming from the U.S. Senate. I'll give you an update on the fourth stimulus check and where we stand today. I'll also share about how Social Security could be getting its biggest raise yet and much, much more. Hello and welcome to today's July 23rd daily news report, as well as ongoing stimulus check package information video. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now so I can give you an optimistic but realistic idea of what's going on in Washington, D.C., the U.S. economy, stocks, money, and much, much more. All right, before we go into the weekend, don't forget that Casey and I are giving away over $3,000 in prizes and cash. Uh, there's going to be 12 people that win one of these amazing hats and 12 that are going to win $250 in cash that you can do whatever you want with. Get caught up on bills, buy groceries, something like that. So I'm excited to give that money away. Also, remember, never text with anyone on YouTube, especially if they're pretending to be me. Okay, now I want to thank today's video sponsor, ExpressVPN, and I'll tell you more about them later in the video. Okay, now I'm seeing some very strong language coming out of Washington, D.C., which I hope means that we're about to see some significant progress made. Uh, first, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer wasted an entire week trying to get a vote that dozens of cohort senators were saying wouldn't pass, but bless his heart, he tried anyway, and it failed, okay? Now, Schumer is pledging to have the American Jobs Plan done by next week. So he's pledging. That's the word that he used. I'm pledging, okay? On top of that, every member of the bipartisan group that had a deal done before July 4th uh, has signed a pledge that they will vote on a bill next week. It doesn't mean it will pass, but they are pledging that come hell or high water, <laughs> they are going to vote on a bill, okay? So they pledged in with their words, so verbally, and they put it in writing that they will vote next week, okay? So we're hoping that these pledges mean something coming from politicians, but I don't know. I guess we'll see what actually comes out of it, okay? Now, uh, you're never going to believe this, but the Democrats are saying that it's the Republicans' fault that this didn't happen, and the Republicans are saying that it's the Democrats' fault. So uh, you and I are just caught in the middle of a tremendously large blame game. <laughs> it's crazy what's going on in D.C. All right, now it appears that the CDC may have overreached on its ability to block renters behind on rent from being evicted. This morning, the Sixth Circuit Court in Cincinnati ruled that the eviction moratorium would not hold and was actually unlawful. Landlords have been losing $13 billion a month collectively in rental revenue. The federal government uh, has been almost no help when it comes to rent relief. Uh, yes, they passed two stimulus packages with around $50 billion to help renters and landlords. However, they made it so restrictive and difficult to access this money that over 90% of that money is still available, okay? Now, if 90% of money set aside from the government is available, either they gave too much or something is really, really wrong, okay? Now, uh, the hope is that the wording around this issue will change in the American Families Plan and that it will be made easier for people to get access to that money so that they can catch up on rent and clear their records, okay? No one should have to carry around uh, this debt for many, many years because of lockdowns that they didn't sign up for, right? Like this was forced on a lot of people. So the government needs to release that money so that people can get caught up, right? It would appease the landlords and it would take a tremendous burden off of those behind on rent. So uh, if the wording and access to this rent relief funds is changed in the American Families Plan, uh, it's going to be a really, really good thing. If not, we are going to see the largest eviction crisis in US history, okay? So I'm really hoping that they get that done. Now, did you know that it would only cost $30 billion to do a $1,200 stimulus check to 25 million Americans. 
the Democrats have increased their stimulus package from $1.7 trillion up to $3.5 trillion. Now, I did the math. A $2,000 fourth stimulus check to 25 million Americans would only cost $50 billion. Okay? And they went, they increased by $1.8 trillion. So again, I ran the math. To give some perspective, they could do 16 stimulus checks at $2,000 a piece for 25 million Americans to equal $1.8 trillion. So what are they going to spend this money on if it's not at least one stimulus check? Okay, There's, it, It's enough money for 16 stimulus checks. Okay, you can double check my math. I'm not I'm not wrong on that, okay? Now I have a lot more to share with you, but first let me tell you about today's video sponsor. I want to thank today's video sponsor Express VPN. It seems each week I'm telling my community about a new hacker, either taking over an oil company, a meat packing plant, or the US government's systems. Well, it can happen to you too. Uh, and it's why you need to be using Express VPN. ExpressVPN is the world's leading VPN or virtual private network. I use ExpressVPN to keep my computer, banking information, and email safe. Now, did you know that there are hundreds of thousands of hackers trying to look at people's emails, bank accounts, and online browsing every single day? When you get online at, say, a coffee shop or a hotel or in a public place, you think you are safe, but the truth is, hackers can see everything you're doing if you're on an unsecured network. I want my community members' emails, banking information, and search history to be kept safe, so I'm telling you about ExpressVPN because they can help. Find out how you can get three free months of ExpressVPN by going to expressvpn.com forward slash Stephen Gardner. Now, to make it easier, I'm going to leave a link below so you can go check them out today. So here's what we know right now going into the weekend. 80 plus members of Congress want a fourth stimulus check. Democrats are asking for a massive pile of cash. Democrats control the White House, the House of Representatives, and the U.S. Senate. And they have an ace up their sleeve called reconciliation vote, okay? So all of the power and money is in their corner to do this, okay? So for these reasons, I still believe a fourth stimulus check is on the table uh, based on the amount of money, the amount of people that want a stimulus check in Congress, and the fact that the Democrats essentially control and own Washington, D.C. So uh, what we don't know is will they actually put one in there? Or have they been dangling a carrot, right? I've said this before. By the way, thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. I really appreciate that. It's a lot of research that goes into putting one of these videos together. So I really, really appreciate that. All right. Now, Senator Chuck Schumer said uh, he will have this bill done and money going to programs and people before the August recess. Okay. So a new timeline. Here's what he had to say. I have every intention of passing both major infrastructure packages, the bipartisan infrastructure framework and a budget reconciliation, or excuse me, a budget resolution with reconciliation instructions before we leave for the August recess. I laid out the precise schedule, both publicly and privately, and I intend to stick to it, okay? Now, these were Schumer's own words. Senator Thune said, Schumer will never get 60 votes until he has something in writing. Some senators just won't bite until there's something in writing. So Senator Thune, who's just one notch below uh, Mitch McConnell, he's basically saying, listen, uh, it's not that there's something wrong with the bill, right? Like we can debate that. We can talk about the numbers, but like this not having something in writing is unacceptable to most people in the Senate. And so that's why he's not getting the votes that he needs, okay? All right, now for some really, really big news. The Social Security Administration could be increasing Social Security benefits by 6.1%, according to an advocacy group. 
Uh, increases on Social Security happen but once a year. For 2021, the COLA numbers pointed towards a 1.3% increase, which is exactly what people got in January of this year. However, with inflation rising, one group is saying Social Security could see its biggest raise since 1983. With food costs up, gas costs up, medical costs going up, many seniors have resorted to eating just one meal a day. That's heartbreaking to me, right? Uh, they have to choose between paying rent or a mortgage, between food and medication, uh, and they go through this month after month after month. And I know that there's a lot of you in my community that are probably thinking, Stephen, I'm living this. Like, you don't have to tell me, okay? But what I'm telling you is that according to research I'm doing, they may actually do one of the biggest Social Security benefit increases since 1983, Okay. Now, recently I did a survey on my channel asking if you thought inflation would be better or worse three to four months from now, and 92% of you said you felt it would actually be worse. Okay. Now, I think a lot of people are living in fear and uncertainty right now, um, and I think this is especially true for people dependent on Social Security Administration benefits. Uh, more will be coming out about this increase, and I'll be here to let you know as I learn more. Um, but this would help a lot of people. Now, some are saying that this won't happen because Social Security is already heading towards bankruptcy, and they've publicly declared that within a few years, they'll only be able to pay 75% of what they're currently paying right now. So th this is a program that definitely needs a boost, right? Like, we keep printing money for foreign nations, but we can't just uh, prop up and stabilize the social security trusts. It, it's kind of mind boggling to me. I don't know what your thoughts are. Maybe let me know in the comments. So for those of you uh, on these benefits, I'm really hoping that you see this pay raise. Um, for those that aren't on social security benefits yet, please consider when to retire. As I speak with hundreds of people uh, every single year, that are retiring with Social Security being their main source of income. And I can tell you right now that many of them are retiring into near poverty levels. So before you leave your career, make sure that you're in a good position, okay? Um, anyway, just, just after doing financial planning for 15 years and everything I've seen this last year, uh, just really make sure that you're prepared, okay? Now, one Democrat representative from California is trying to change the COLA rules to reflect true inflation, but right now, Social Security only gets very small bumps in income each year. Now, yesterday, the House blocked a bill that would give uh, the Department of National Intelligence, or the DNI, the authority to tell the American people if COVID came from a lab or not. So it seems whether COVID was naturally occurring or came from a lab, the American people will be kept in the dark for now, okay? That vote went down party lines. Uh, Democrats actually blocked uh, that bill from going through. So uh, I would really, for one, like to know uh, if this came from a lab or if it was naturally occurring. I don't, I don't know what your thoughts may be. <laughs> you know, let me know in the comments. But I want to get to the bottom of what happened, right? All right, so there's big changes potentially on the horizon from the Social Security office. Dozens of senators pledging to have a deal done next week. The head of the Senate now pledging to have this done and money to programs and people this summer. Uh, lots of big promises, lots of big potential. Uh, so next week should be interesting. I have no idea if any of this will happen. I'm just here to report what's in the news. So hopefully you appreciate that I try to be optimistic, but also realistic. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more. Before you go, make sure to check out that giveaway that Casey and I are doing to give away over $3,000 in prizes and cash. Also check out the link in the pinned comment and the video description for ExpressVPN. Nowadays, you have to protect your online information. More people are breaking into people's private information online than they are their physical houses. So make sure you're, you're protected. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. 
I appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.